Good evening, and welcome to the Ford Listening Room at the Ark. My name is Jennifer. I'm one of the night managers here. And I want to thank you all so much for joining us for one of our Artist Spotlight Series shows sponsored by our friends at Food Gatherers. You should have received some raffle tickets as you entered. You're going to want to make sure to hold on to those because I will be coming out at the end of tonight's performance to give away two pairs of tickets to an upcoming show of your choice. And for those of you watching at home, you can show your appreciation for tonight's show by donating to the virtual tip jar, which you can find pinned to the comments section of the live stream, with the proceeds to be split evenly between the artist and the ARC. A couple groups of people that I do want to thank this evening. First and foremost, big thanks to our members here at the ARC. Thank you so much for your support of this great nonprofit music venue and helping to keep music alive in Ann Arbor. We really appreciate it. And also, a big thanks, as always, goes out to our wonderful crew of volunteers that we have helping us out. Altogether, our volunteers allow us to put on 300 nights of live music and performances each year, so let's hear it for our volunteers. We really appreciate their hard work. And then finally, before we get started, just a couple of quick house rules. I'd like to remind everyone to silence your cell phones before we begin, and also let you know that there's no recording and no flash photography of tonight's performance. And with that, we're ready to get started. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ARC stage, Lily Lewis. So I did a silly thing. It's the first time I've done this. It's, it means I'm getting lazy. And that is that I didn't make sure I had a clean path to my piano before <laughs> I sat down tonight. <clears throat> but luckily, we achieved piano sitage without any drama. So that's a good start to the show. We are already winning. How y'all feeling? Good. good. I'm really glad you're here. Thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah. 
Backstage, we were like having this big, giant debate. It was like a caucus uh, required to figure out what we were going to start with. And I thought I was going to start with a clever tune. And then I realized as I walked out on stage, like, well, I've been communing with Joni Mitchell a lot lately. I have a few kind of root artists that um, inform like what I think is possible, like what I think I could get away with. 
Um, and Joni is, is really, really way up there on that list. And she just had this remarkable set at um, the Newport Folk Festival. And um, I thought this would be the silliest time in the world to not start the set by communing with Joni, as we've been doing on this really magical tour that we've been on for the last week or so. So um, that, every time I play that lately, whether it's a festival or a venue, I always get like, you know, men of a certain age coming up to me going, oh, I really, really like that CSNY song you did. And I was like, oh, you mean the one by Joni Mitchell? So we gotta give her <laughs> her shout out, man, because that's what, that's what they do to us sometimes. <laughs> um, I have been really inspired in the last few days, just, just on this ride, just coming up through the Midwest and just being um, assaulted with primordial beauty. Um, just these trees, these hillsides, these skies that are just so idyllic that they look kind of like they've been photoshopped, you know, and I have wanted to kind of lean in to a restful state. And I kind of want to sing some songs about love um, tonight. So I might be sitting on the sweet side. I might get angsty from time to time. But given that that's my intention, I'm going to start out with this one. This 
Yes, indeed. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> so I'm going to sing a song that came at a strange time. I believe I've always been confused about this song. Um, when we play this song at home, this is one of the few songs that, like, every time I play it in the club in New Orleans, people sing it with me, which I very much appreciate. That's fun. <laughs> But I've always been confused about like why this song came out this way. Um, I wrote this song shortly after Alton Sterling was murdered. I don't know if you all know about that. Um, it was back in 2016. Um, there's a gas station um, uh, where he would sell what CDs or something outside of the gas station, and um, and one day cops decided that wasn't cool and killed him, like right there on the spot. And he looked a lot like the first guy that ever asked me to dance. And so I was like, whoa, my first dance just got shot, you know? And it kind of spooked me out. And I sat at the piano for days, um, kind of a little bit dissociated, trying to like see what would come out. And it's like, it's in this weird key, you know? And I just, my hands wouldn't move from that key. And all of a sudden, an entirely different message came out. And I think, uh, I think what it was getting at was that, that we were stepping into territory that we were going to have a hard time coming back from. That we were stepping into territory where we were going to lose sight. We were going like, to lose our footing on like, having compassion, generosity, just like basic decency. We like to say it's radical decency because these days being decent is kind of a radical act, right? But whatever the case, we're losing our footing. <coughs> and all of a sudden, the voice of my father kind of came into the room and is like, Lily, what you gonna do about it? Like you can sit here and be sad about it, you can cry about it, you can shout about it, you can be bad about it, or you can try to help the people around you decide to join together as a community and do something together, like have our own backs. We don't have to push against things in order to make change. We really could just work for things together. So he said, it's gonna be too late when the rain comes in. He was talking about the flood, you know, he was a preacher. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I came from a preacher. Hmm. Um, he said, it's gonna be too late when the rain comes back in. So we gotta do something about it now. You feel me? This is how the song goes. Thank you. 
how it goes, y'all. <laughs> so what are we going to do about it? I'm just going to leave that on the floor. <laughs> so um, we've been singing some old songs, some new songs, um, but I do want to sing a few songs from my new record. I just put out a record called Americana, and it is really a collection of stories that I have been gathering in my walk, because I've lived all over the country and I've lived among so many different kinds of people and I have been privileged enough to receive their stories. So I did a lot of stories about other people, but I have a few stories on their record that are about me. And uh, I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna start with a story about me. Um, a lot of people thought that the record was about sadness and grief but I thought that the record was about transcendence. So I'm gonna sing a song right now about what I consider my more transcendent nature, and this song is called Fly. Touching down briefly in someone's backyard. Only a glimpse of me ever remains, and my home is 
seven so far So I must fly Yes, I must fly indulged sometimes <laughs> sometimes you know you just gotta give something back to yourself I had somebody um, tell me this um, gentleman I used to play with in Atlanta his name was Dale 
And Dale was a troubled soul, but he played like an angel butterfly. And um, Dale noticed about me that every time I went to play, I just put my whole self into it. And he said, you know, Lily, I really think it's beautiful that you don't ever phone it in. But sometimes you got to give something back to yourself. So I've taken that upon <laughs> myself to give as much back to myself as I feel I need to stay sincere and true. Because, you know, these days, sincerity is hard to come by. You ever feel like everybody's doing a little bit of posturing, folks around them, like a little bit of puffery? We puff up. How are you doing? Oh, I'm great. Everything's great. I'm doing so Great, everything is so good. I love my job. Well, you know, I don't love my job, but I love my job. And like, you know, I had a great coffee this morning. It was so great. Everything's great. I went on a great vacation and I went on a great date and everything was just super great. And I have the pictures to prove it. See? <laughs> you know, it's like, that's a little bit um, tough for a little introvert like me to navigate. So I've been trying to find ways to stay tenderized, you know? So um, wanna offer up, I want to offer up a tune for your tender spaces. If, um, you know, if you ever feel impacted by something that you don't feel safe sharing, because this is not always a safe place for tender moments and vulnerability, um, I got, I got a melody for you. This is called Sleep Baby Slumber. There's a quiet space inside you that is tender And its solitude will sink you like hailstone Everybody likes to tell you it gets better Cause they all have tender spaces of their own And they'd rather do anything but remember When they knew that space was easy So they sometimes have to empty out their corners But sometimes that leaves you no place left to hide So you think maybe with your life You could buy back your illusions And maybe in your time You could turn toward what's to come And maybe in a dream You could stumble upon something That is more what it seems more than what it seems so
Thank you so much, y'all. That's a tune I wrote a long time ago called Copper John. I put that song in my pocket and walked around with it for at least a decade before I realized, hey, that song is still getting on my nerves. I guess I better record it. <laughs> Sometimes they just don't leave you alone. You know, the songs are like, we want to be born. And I'm like, not yet, sweetie. I can't play you at the club. And the song is like, I don't care about no club. And I was like, well, I do, because that's how I get paid. And the song was like, well, maybe you should be playing at the Ark instead of in these clubs on the <laughs> New Orleans. So I said, OK, song, I'll go ahead and record you. And I recorded it, and Rolling Stone decided this is a song that everybody needed to know. So that's what I get. Should have been listening to the song all along. <laughs> um, we want to sing another song from the record. This one is called Every Day. I'll tell you about the last one, then I'll tell you about this one. Because they live kind of in the same place for me. I wrote that last song when I, at a time when I had run away from home. And I thought I was going to become a singer-songwriter. But at least I hoped that that would happen. But more importantly, I just needed to get away from home. Um, bad environment, needed to grow up, needed to find a new way to live that didn't make me feel like I was suffocating all the time. So when you're in that situation, you don't always have a lot of support. You don't have, you know, you don't have anybody to call when things go wrong. You gotta figure it out. Put one foot in front of the other and figure it out. And uh, the, what I did have, though, was a number of houseless people who would come up to me and bear witness to me. And they would say those lines in the song, like they say, hey, baby, you can't see the forest for the trees. And then they keep walking. Or they say, oh, well, you know, you can see the forest, you can see the trees, but all those trees are sick, you know? And somehow, having these people, these strangers, take it upon themselves with all that they were dealing with to bear witness to my journey helped me put one foot in front of the other. Um, and, you know, that's how we end up here today, you know? So I don't want to ever take for granted um, the voices that each of us share. We are co-creating this experience together, like the whole shebang. We're co-creating it. And if somebody takes it upon themselves to share something of value with me, I never want to take it for granted. Um, and that's why this song connects to the next song I want to sing for you, which is a tune I wrote, again, a while ago called Every Day. And it was about me realizing that everybody that I meet is really another emanation of, of me, like at, at any time, we could trade places, you know, wherever I am that you might be judging today, that could be you. We don't know 10 years from now or in another lifetime or, you know, however that flows. Um, and vice versa, I could be judging you and then end up trading places with you. And when I realized that, I was like, oh, this whole thing is just a display of possibilities. And I'm still figuring out who I am in the context of all of it. Um, so, of course, I wrote a song about it. Like to hear it? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really singing this song because this piano was made for this song. You didn't even know it, did you, baby? You didn't know it. When you came out the factory, you were like, I'm going to meet a song one day. And that song is gonna need me, and I'm just gonna resonate all big and stuff in the hall and just make her feel fancy when she plays it. So, every day since you left the factory, you've been waiting for this moment, right?
for Robin Sherman on that bass over there. Yeah. Just throwing down. That's Wade Hemel on the drums, y'all. I got heaven over there, that's what Hemel means. And I got the robin bird flying in the sky, that's what that means. And I'm just a little flower in between, I love it. Come on, people, come on, children, come on down to the glory river. I'm going to wash you up in the rain. Come on, people, come on, children, come on down to the glory river. Thank you.
sometimes it seems like the survival of the killers. Well, the survival of the fittest anyways. Sometimes it seems like survival should us to go back to the before. To go back to before. Thank you so much. We'll do, oh, can I do a quick time check? Let's see how we're doing on the time. Oh, I can't do one apparently. I normally do it by um, touching myself inappropriately, um, which works out great when we're streaming. That's really great. Um, but I don't have my timepiece. I don't know what those numbers meant. 9.04. Oh, cool. Okay. We have a little bit of time left. These days, as I mentioned before, the intention, for me at least, is about togetherness, is about extending a hope for ordinary things for everybody, unconditionally. I like to call myself a universal dignity enthusiast. Because I do get excited when people are sweet. <laughs> I do. I generally do. And I'm really thankful that a very simple song fell in that allowed me to express this. This is called My American Heart. <laughs> Baby, to be born healthy. Won't you 
Won't your son make it home from the war, fully able to rejoin his people? My American heart, won't you drop to help you feed your family? Hope to let you build a home that houses generations of joy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do a song because I was telling the fellas backstage that this space is so beautiful, the space is so perfect, and the sound people are so perfect, and the piano is so great that we had nothing to push back against, and that made me feel awkward. Like, can I do a show in a perfect space? I don't know. What can I do to to mess it up a little bit? And like this is totally appropriate for us because like Wade and I have been playing together for 13 years and we started off playing in a rock band. Um, playing in dirty, dusty, danky juke joints out in Louisiana, um, way, way, way out. Um, and, and we have played every kind of music under the sun, wouldn't you say? But we always had something to push back against, you know? And lately, Every place we've played has been like this, <laughs> just <laughs> glorious and beautiful and wonderful. And, um, and I'm feeling like I want to pay a little bit of homage to where we come from, Wade. Um, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing, I'm gonna sing a song that I didn't write, and I'm going to try to make it appropriate for streaming. And I'm going to hope that uh, it doesn't get muted. Um, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, man. OK. <laughs> Y'all can sing along, too, if you want to. <laughs> It'll make us feel like our beginnings.
may you hear the phone I couldn't look you in the eye Just like a feather Your skin makes me cry Just like a I don't remember. 
remember what we came here for. We came here to have a good time and to come together, right? Amen. Child, don't get it twisted. for my brothers up here. I'm having such a good time tonight. This is Wade Female on the drums.
Send you out on a little prayer. Let your light shine bright. Oh, 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 let your light
to put y'all in the van. <laughs> Thank y'all. We've had a really, really, really great time. I really appreciate y'all hanging out with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>